Good morning, Ann. Good morning. It's always so good to see you. It's the case, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is the time of year we've all got that urge to get out in the garden and dig. We've gone through winter. We're so ready for spring. But we have to be a bit mindful yet because yes, we're kind we of in that little bit of gray area, January through, I think, through April, Girl, really. Really. You know, we're, mm -hmm. it's still a lot of uncertainty yes. as to what we're going to do as far as frost and wind and, and, and water rain right, too. Right. We've had some very strange, uh, not typical weather patterns. That's true. And sudden. Yes. I think very that's, sudden. That, that's what's been a lot of the problem with the plants. I think yeah, we've all stayed pretty close to those weather maps on our, yes. on our phones. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. To see what's coming. <laughs> so everybody's ready to plant their vegetables and herbs yes. for spring. Yes. And really even their bedding. Yeah. And there's kind of a rule of thumb that does apply to everything, but especially the herbs. Yes. And when we're watching for what we want to plant, yes. you know, watching the garden center real closely to yes. see what came in, what, what came, came in, in, what yeah. came in, what's new. Uh, we need to be mindful of what to look for in making our choices and then right. how we go forward into caring for them. And, and I think it's especially true of people, uh, and I'm one, I want to get a head start. Oh yeah. I want to a. I want to get the plants while they're still on the shelf, and then b. I want to get them in the ground. Exactly. I'm, I'm keen to get to get that done. And we've got to wait for the ground temperature to warm but up it, too. It is. It really is. And I really think, Beverly, I'm not a weather man, but I think we've had such strange patterns of, of yeah. hot and cold and wet and and not wet and extreme and dry. Extreme. Yeah. I've noticed that at our place, the deer have been shorted on the uh, what they can feed on, and they've decided they like herbs after all. So. Oh, good. oh, goody! <laughs> after all this, all this time of saying don't, uh, that plant herbs, the deer will leave them alone. This year, they're in the garden. They're in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. So when we're shopping, and we're wanting when to get something to to plant, and but. What we need to be really mindful of, not even so much as what we see above ground, but it's that root system that we've yeah. really got to watch for. I think the roots, the, the, a good strong root system is what makes a, a, a plant like this mint, which is a tough plant, but the good strong root system is what gives it the ability to start when, when things aren't perfect. Right. And you know, yeah. carefully removing it from the pot like we yep. just did, that's absolutely acceptable. Absolutely. You know, just just be a little gentle with it when you do it. And but but you need to look at these roots. Yeah. And it's a, you can do that without knocking the soil off. And then right. Putting and it especially back. when they're well rooted. Yeah. They're going to hold that they hold soil. The, they yeah. hold the root ball. But you can see how well developed this mm -hmm. root is. And this one's this one's fine. You've got roots to the bottom and to uh -huh. the side. It's just a, a little younger, younger stage I, than I, this one is. Yeah. And I, I don't think it would take too long if you set this in a, you know, planted it for temporary purposes in, right. a, in a pot. It would just right. pr quickly develop that. So this tree. one could go in the in ground the, right today. In the ground. I, w I would be okay putting that in the ground, right, really. Right. It has that one, it's, it's not gonna lose the little roots. Yes, and this one just, you would recommend either leave it in this pot for a couple, three weeks, or go into maybe a six inch six container of some yeah, type. something. And and uh, it's, like, it's like Madeline Hill used to say, and she's our, She's our founder of the herb yes. enthusiasts in this part of the world. Um, she, somebody asked her if they could, what kind of pot they needed to grow herbs in. And, and, and Madeline said, well, you know, you can grow herbs in an old shoe. You, you don't have to have a fancy pot. <laughs> no, you so don't. So you have some pots in the back garden somewhere that you, that you can put it into. Yeah. This is another one. I think we were walking around looking they at the plants, they, they, younger plants that appear very young at the surface, but when yeah. we popped them out. Incredible roots. Look at the roots, at the roots on this. Of that. Yeah. And, and this is what you would love to see. Uh, the greenery is great. Right. Perfect in both cases. Very young looking, but those roots will carry it through to hotter, weather, warmer weather. Good, yeah. so now yeah. we know. We don't just look at what's on top, but that's we gotta check the bottom. That's right, I, I really am for that. In fact, I like to see that they're spread throughout. Oh, too, absolutely. There's not just one or two roots. Yeah, this, this is kind of fun. 
Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. So we can at least weather the this changeability that we have right now. Right. And and look forward to April. Perfect. While we go. Thanks, Anne. <laughs>